I want to be with your president because this king is able. And if you give me time, I'll make you a fable. My name is David Brickley with SportstalkNetwork.tv. Few things have shook the sports world like this one has in quite some time. Joe Paterno, the head coach of the Penn State Nittany Lions, was fired on Wednesday night. Now, Joe Pa has been with the Penn State football program since 1950, spending 15 years as an assistant and the last 45 years as the Nittany Lions head coach. He was worshipped in the Penn State community, but nothing could have saved Paterno's job amid the unfortunate circumstances. 67-year-old Jerry Sandusky served 23 years as an assistant coach under Paterno, and according to an investigative state grand jury summary of testimony, Sandusky has been alleged of engaging and fondling and sexually assaulting young boys over a period of more than 10 years. The victims that have come forward now stands at 20. Much of the criticism surrounding Paterno was concerned with his apparent failure to follow up on a report of the 2002 incident in which Sandusky allegedly sodomized a 10-year-old boy in the showers at the team's football complex. Along with Paterno, the Penn State trustees fired the university president, Graham Spainer, and have named defensive coordinator Tom Bradley as the interim coach for the rest of the season. Paterno has said he should have done more, while Spainer has said he was not told the details of the attack. Now to some lighter news, NFL players were recently polled on who they consider the most overrated players in the league. So here comes a list. Number five, Titans running back Chris Johnson, CJ2K. After signing a six-year, $56 million deal and a contract holdout, he's averaging just three yards per carry and has rushed for just 366 yards in eight games with the Titans this season. Number four is a little odd. It's defensive tackle and Dominican Sue. He's considered a beast by many NFL experts and has three sacks on the season. Number three is New York Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez. The inability for the Jets to get over the hump the last couple of years has been pinned on the former USC QB. Number two is Dallas quarterback Tony Romo. That's kind of obvious, right? And number one is who else? Tim Tebow of the Denver Broncos. One anonymous player said about Tebow, he's not an NFL quarterback. He's a fullback. Not only is he inaccurate, he has a weak arm. The media saturation is unbearable. We hate T-Boying with the passing. They also may be hating on his endorsements. Every time they flip on the TV, I'm sure they see Tebow on the screen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. For SportsTalkNetwork.tv, my name is David Brickley.